Hey folks, it's Cornell with YouTube Fishing Vids. Well, check this little scene out. Little community pond, and I'm on an appointment for my day job. Kind of busy little park here, a lot of road noise. I even had a, even had a guy flying a drone around here a minute ago. But uh, all kinds of goose poop and dogs everywhere. <laughs> this is just one of those little community ponds that you get curious about, and I'm curious. So I have my fluke still on from the last time I was up in the mountains of Maryland fishing on, catching a bunch of those little bass on that little watermelon fluke with a dip chartreuse tail. So let's put this guy to the test. I got cloud cover, another uh, threat of some storms coming here in an hour or two. I only have like 20 minutes. So that's the best thing about throwing a rod in the car, guys. You have a rod in the car set up like this and a bag of flukes. And look, I ran out of all my watermelon flukes last time I was fishing, and I'm down to my little pearl white so let's see if this one watermelon fluke i still have on can grab me a couple i got i see bluegill there's all kinds of stuff in here i can already see it a little drop off right here by a little bridge and a little nasty weed line over there let's throw a fluke around let's see if i can catch a fish on the little pond i've never fished before does that dude actually get fishing on the other side so i'm presuming there's some bass in here my goal is to find the deepest water on this pond so i bet you I bet that guy over there knows what the heck he's doing. So I'm gonna I'm gonna fish the opposite side of him and see what we can pull off. You can see down in there there's bluegill everywhere. So definitely bluegill in there. I got the right match the hatch. Look at that bluegill. He's actually chasing after my deal. And look at their little chartreuse tails. You can see why my fluke matches the hatch so well. There's a perfect example of it right there. So let's look like mine's dying. Oh, there's a great big bass right there. Look at that. There's about a no, nah, I shouldn't say great big, it's about a two-pounder right over there. Now let's see if that guy wants to eat my uh struggling fluke he's just right under the bridge god that would be absolutely ridiculous let me skip it underneath there give him a reason to chase it i'm gonna be really aggressive at first see what happens that would be so funny oh bluegill's chasing it like crazy he, he didn't come after it that's great there's big bass in here guys i already could see him so that's great all right enough of the bridge action Here's all that muck I was telling you about. This is uh, really mucky on the edges, but this fluke with this 12 pound test braid can launch itself way, way out there. Best thing about shoreline fishing and having a spinning rod set up for your fluke is you can really, really get some distance on your cast. I got the wind at my back. Man, I don't know if you can see that, but bang, almost to the other side of the pond, way out there. I got pretty decent dress clothes on, but I do have, a, I do have myself a towel strapped to my hip so if I do catch a fish or get some muck on my bait, I can wipe my hands off. That's the deal, guys. If you come out here with a little bag of flukes, a couple hooks, maybe a Senko bag, bring a towel and maybe some pliers. You can just walk around the pond with basically nothing and whack some fish on some really basic baits. There we go, guys. Got one. Got a nice one. I got a nice one on a little community pond on my fluke. Awesome. It's a nice fish. I knew I'd get one out here. I could just tell by looking at the water. He's swimming right at me. I'm going to keep him above the weeds and bring him in here quick, guys. Check that out. Just pulling over on a little community pond out here and popping him. How cool is that, guys? That little watermelon fluke that I was doing so well on my community lake. Not a community lake, my little mountain lake. Get some on a community lake. Isn't that great? First pass, I've been here about five minutes. Cool. Let's get out there. And that was way out in the middle, too. He just came up and almost uh, waked on it, so I could totally tell he almost came up on the surface. I would love to have a popper out here, but golly. Let's go ahead and re-rig that Texas rig fluke. Get another one. So the dude on the other side over there is actually pitching into the heavy, heavy cover. He's actually sinking something down through the muck. I don't think he's fishing a frog. He might be, but I'm out here in the open water, just covering water, splish splashing this little fluke around, looking like something that's half injured. And that guy wanted it. Let's see if I can find another one. I'd love to, I'd love to catch a biggest fish out of this pond. That'd be awesome. There we go. Wow, what a great bite. Oh my God, oh, when he gets off, I had a giant. It was a big one, guys. Oh my gosh, that was such a far cast, it was hard to lay it into him. But he got it good. I got a good jump out of him. So there's fish number two in less than 10 minutes, guys. I just barely came around the curve here. And boy, he really ate the heck out of that thing. Sometimes with those long distance casts, you know, even with a seven foot medium extra fast action rod like I have here and braid, 
that long distance cast works to your disadvantage. You can get the hook up, can't always keep them. So let me put another fluke on. It's gonna go pearl here because I'm out and that is tore up. And so long, watermelon. All right, let's keep on moving. I popped that one nice one over there. I'm gonna get a little farther over here and hopefully not get my dress shoes too messy because it is nasty. It is wet and tons and tons of goose poop over here. Typical. Oh, 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 I have one. I thought I had one. Oh man. It felt, no, I got one, guys. He's swimming at me. He's swimming at me. Good. I don't know if he's big or what he's... Oh, he got off. Damn. I had another one right there. He was just swimming at me. I couldn't keep up with him. Got him all the way on the other side of the pond. He was way over there. So that's number three hookup. I almost want to keep my... Uh, I almost want to keep my cast short. It is... Uh, it's not me, guys. I'm telling you right now. If you throw that far out, you reduce your percentage of hookups big time. You just can't keep up with your line. All right, so now I've got the wind in my face. I'm not going to be able to cast as far, but that's not a big deal because I've already covered pretty much all this water. I was able to cast so far from the other side. Let me go ahead and parallel this little weed line over here again from this angle. See if someone or something thinks this looks a little different from this side. All right, guys, I got myself another fish. Almost didn't know I had it for a minute. Oh, it's a decent pass. And I got it right back at the bridge where I was standing. And I wonder if this is the same one. That's a great fish. Look at that number two. So now within about 15 minutes, I got two bass. I've got a legitimate third bass that I lost, another legitimate bite that I lost. So I'm two for four and I had another pretty hard strike. So in 15 minutes in this little community pond, I'm having a blast guys and they love the fluke guys i'm telling you put a simple little setup in your car whether it be a spinning or bait casting have some four aught grip pins are great any kind of four aught extra wide gap and some flukes and little mucky ponds like this this time of year absolutely incredible so that's great i'm glad i got uh number two let's see i've got like five more minutes to go let's see if we can catch another one take a look at my fluke in the water guys this is all i'm doing if you can see it it's going to come at me here it's a little ways away i got blue eagle chasing it all over the place just a little flick, just like a just like a jerk bait, but it's a soft jerk bait. So you can give a little pause, let it sink, dead stick it. But if you can see that in the water, that's all I'm doing. Just make it look like a dying something. And that's all they want. They want something easy and they want to kill it is what they want to do. Get that little reaction bite. So let's keep going. Just a little bit more time. All right, guys, in the past two videos, the rain ran me off, but this time I got to run off before the rain. It's barely drizzling. It's going to come a little harder than this, but that's going to be my last cast. How cool is it to just pull over Take a break from work in the middle of the week, have a rod in your hand, and catch a couple bass on a spot you've never fished from the shoreline before. Very cool little spot right here. Always have your flukes handy, guys, and a little rod in the car. You never know what you're going to get if you pull over and toss a line. So, folks, as always, appreciate you joining me. As always, I appreciate you subscribing. Until we meet again, over and out.